Hello and welcome Sagittarius. This is your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower page or Thomas's Tower readings. And um, please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Sagittarius. Or Sagittarians, I should rather say. What we do here is we look into um, three sections of your being um, briefly, and they are as follows. So, firstly, we look at the overall energy for the month of February 2023 for your very sign before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's love coming in, uh, maybe there's pain that can go, that sort of stuff, before we finally then move into the area of opportunities. And opportunities for the most part will be about what sustains you financially and then like i said we talk about it when we get there okay Sagittarians, are you ready let's just um jump right in there if that makes sense what i probably should say before we go anywhere here i always record the signs one after the other and mostly in order and your energy Sagittarians, is the most pushy at this point in time. So what I'm saying to you is, and we'll see if this is reflected in, in any of the, the, the messages here, but because there is a pushiness about you in this month, that's actually not a bad thing because Sagittarius is the sign of the archer, which means you are the sign that has the bow and arrow and you ultimately decide um, how far you take things, right? How far you actually um, shoot, shoot your arrow, if that makes sense. So the point is, what I'm getting before we look into anything is for you to actually understand that that pushiness that you already feel can only aid you. Otherwise, it would not be here. Now, with regards to your um, overall energy for the months ahead, you have a, a very interesting energy. <clears throat> While you do have the energy of Gemini, which means that that's the part that's missing, that's missing the twin, you have the job of cross-pollinating or to cross-pollinate things. So, the overall energy for the sign of Sagittarius in the month of February 2023 clearly says not to hide, right? Whatever you're going through, sitting it out at home um, doesn't quite work. That doesn't mean you haven't got the right or you shouldn't take some time out for yourself. But the energy here is, if you have any ideas, um, share them with others. If you have a bad time say to a friend i feel totally shit and i've chosen you to listen to me over a coffee that you pay for <laughs> that's sort of the energy <coughs> that i'm getting right so have a little bit of humor with it but the point is your job is to actually be proactive and share your thoughts on the world you will likely therefore help other people and empower other people which in turn with this sort of gemini's energy um, will empower yourself. So please, 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 please don't hide this month. It's not what the energy um, needs from you. Okay? And then let's look at your emotional core. And your emotional core is Aries. You're right. So my cat is just here. So your emotional core is Aries energy, which is basically acting on how you feel. So when the guides say act, what they're saying to you is again, we just talked about um, how proactive the energy is for you in the month of February. And when it comes to releasing old pain, because this is not about love coming in here, this is more about what sits inside you and has to go, um, again, you have to allow it to happen. Really, really important, because if you are a person that goes like, you know, haven't been feeling super well because my thoughts are... You know, with whatever illness you have, ailment you have, or maybe with an old relationship, but, you know, it's emotional stuff that will affect you quite a bit. This month is about, let, let's, let's bloody do something about it. Right? Really, really important. Um, so again, what I'm getting for you is this proactiveness, while it sometimes makes you a bit lonely, a bit isolated, because you always have to act, you have to begin to act before anybody picks up on it. Point is, you will do better when it comes to releasing what you're carrying with you that isn't even um, serving you any longer, um, when you meet it head on, right? So that is that. And now finally, we look at opportunities as the present themselves to you in the month of February 2023 in the sign of Sagittarius. Shall we have a look? Of course we should. Let's have a look. So, 
So again, it's interesting because you have the third house, right? And this is just about the number three here. And the number three is about proactiveness, right? Is 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 so number five actually is the number of communication, right? It sort of refers to Mercury. But the number three is the number of progression, and communication is your topic. So when it comes to opportunities, make sure you're not selling yourself short, right? Understand that when you go for any interviews or if you are self-employed and you're pitching um, what you can do, maybe you give a talk, maybe you're in the process of creating a new flyer, make sure that everybody understands what you're actually trying to say. In short, do not rush anything, but understand that when it comes to manifesting what you want, which is about your opportunities, the more clear you are on what it is you're actually looking for, the easier it will be for you to manifest it and to ultimately get it. Sagittarians, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Yana. Please like, subscribe and share. Please, please, please share widely. It helps the channel grow. And that's what we really want. Thank you so much. See you next month. Bye-bye.